arrived. The funniest yeah, thing that I've seen with this first move was Karyakin making B4, uh, yeah? B4 in the, the World Championship match. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see if we've got uh, new pairings. Not really. No, I don't know. I'm not, not, not very good. Not very good at technical side of events. Uh -huh, but they have started. Mm -hmm. And it seems that it's a Spanish opening or Italian. Right, so we have no other choice for the moment but to, but to look from the camera. And, and uh, in the I meantime... I know, it's e4, e5, queen h5. Wow, it shows Magnus State after okay. this loss. Yeah? Okay, so that's... Wow. You know, I would call it a disrespect. But uh, it's more of a, you know, a reflection of uh, feelings he has. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, I'm in fact worried for Magnus because... Yeah, because, uh, because I remember do, uh, him doing this. Okay, he does this a lot in Internet Blitz. And this is understandable. You can experiment in Internet Blitz, Blitz whatever you like. But I remember him doing this at Olympiad. Remember, there was one Olympiad, like three... In Plomsche, when he lost to Saric at the end also by uh, over-experimenting. Yeah, yeah I think, uh, I'm not sure if it was Tromsø or maybe the previous, no, previous one, he wasn't that strong just yet. Yeah, I think it was Tromsø. He lost three games at that Olympiad yeah. and he was doing like really crazy things in the openings. So now, Queen H5, Knight C6, Queen F... Okay, at least he... At least he, he did not go to... At least he did not go to... I mean, didn't play like Queen B3 or something. Uh, well, actually, his opponent went Queen E7, which is not the most... Exactly. Not the strongest move. Showing also a little bit too much respect, yeah? I mean, Queen E7 is double prophylaxe. Yeah, Knight F6, D3. That's actually not that terrible, strangely enough. I mean, it's not, it doesn't mean that White's position is Im immediately terrible. So he'll play knight to c3, he will develop the bishop, app apparently will castle long. h6, apparently preventing bishop g5. Yeah, so there we have it. Is that the current position? Isn't he blundered the piece or not? What's, what's I mean going bishop on? F8. What's and, going on? And he holds his head. I mean, uh, Rook F C eight, Bishop. Will he Bishop will he start zero out of two? Wow. Maybe there was was there? Yeah, I mean, he wasn't forced to go Bishop C three. Wait, Queen E five. Uh, wha what? I just what, what did he? D six. I mean, Bishop ah, D five. This is D6. what he blundered. This is what he blundered, and and it's. I mean, it's curtains, no? I mean, yeah, there, there, there is no, no practical chances. Yeah, they just I thought, okay, maybe to give this piece somehow for like two pawns, this, that. No, no, it's just lost, just purely lost. And I'm wondering if he'll find a way to continue this game. No, well, now you have to bishop mm. f8. It's but that's too much. It's definitely no, but this too is much. clearly the the danger that you are always running in this uh, event that. One winning game you lose, and it might affect your next uh, couple of games. I mean, uh, already uh, this second move, Queen H5, showed us that uh, Magnus uh, is in a disgusted mood after the, the previous game, and uh, and things might have gone his way. But uh, I mean, this this feeling was there that he he couldn't really think with with a calm head. Yeah, I mean, okay, bishop c3 is a blunder, and instead he probably had some move. Okay, maybe the position is not great already. Right? Yeah, I mean, he this went after this pawn, yeah. Queen b4 takes, takes king h7. Yeah, I mean, if the position was not great, he could go knight a6, but he would never do this, right? I yeah. mean, bef before, yeah, no, whatever. I mean, it felt a little bit like he just plays the game by hand. Yeah, I mean, all his moves strategically make sense, mm -hmm. but uh, he, he lost the focus for, for concrete action. 
And, uh, Bishop C3, Bishop F8, of I course. I mean, without Bishop F8, we would be probably saying that uh, Magnus played a perfect uh, masterpiece strategically. Yeah, I mean, from this, uh, everything is covered, everything is good, and then yeah, he's threatening to take on e5. Yeah, and suddenly Bishop F8, and he's about to lose a piece. And, and most not just the, yeah, the game. most likely the second yeah. game in a row. Uh, he played knight b5, yeah, he, he gives up the queen instead of the piece, yeah. Yeah, sort of it, so it will be, it will be what? Queen for the rook, and kind of a good factor is that it will be opposite color of the bishops, I mean, kind of. But still, let's be yeah, serious. No, I mean it's absolutely is lost. lost yeah. I'm it's actually absolutely lost. Uh, he will t I thought that he would keep the knight on d6. He would not. Ah, like bishop d6, knight d6. Yeah, but c2 is hanging. Queen e, queen e6. It's like everything's hanging. Come on. Yeah, no, this is just hopelessly lost. Knight takes what? Knight takes e8, rook takes e8, rook takes e5, I guess. I mean, there is nothing to comment. I mean, of course, uh, I'm curious to see how this game is going to finish, but uh, there is nothing to explain. He's just lost. Yeah, so you...